Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and I'm playing Star Conflict again. I have played through 10 days of this game. My license has expired, but I have learned a great deal of things. Well, first of all is that without the license, you're missing out on a whole bunch of cash and reputation, and it becomes grindy, grindy, grindy. To get the license, you need to spell, spend the gold standards, of which you have a very small amount. Now, gold standards you can buy on the black market for real cash. Now, if you look at the prices on here, um, underneath the license, if you want six months of game time, that's going to cost you almost 15,000 gold standards. On the black market, 15,000 is about $40. So, you know, that's quite, quite a bit of cash. If you go to the Steam packages right now, the Elite package is like $80 and gives you twice that and plus it gives you some free ships so it tends to work out slightly better I think there's a 15% um, bonus or 20% or bonus there, there seems to be a bit of a bonus let's say and it's different depending upon the tier if you have too many gold standards you can of course convert them to in-game cash that uh, is of course part of the whole free-to-play model uh, or rather grind or pay model so uh, so spacecraft I'm still flying Federation ships. Now, you'll see in the tech tree here, the way it works is, you know, you start out with one of these ships and I, with rank, you, you unlock things. Now, you can buy any spacecraft which ha matches your reputation or below, right? Assuming there's no link coming in from the left. As soon as there's a link coming in from the left, for example, here I have the Silent Fox, which I could buy because I have the reputation, but I haven't unlocked the preceding ship. Same here with the Alligator, I would have to buy the Raptor M or the Raptor Mark II before I unlocked it. So uh, that's the way that's going to work there. There's a bunch that you need to spend gold standards on if you want to get. There's also some Steam DLC that you need. Um, there's one up here that I haven't unlocked. I've unlocked level 5, but I haven't unlocked level 6. So I could go to a Hawk M once I unlock level 6. Now, you have your three classes. You can tell the classes by the little symbol up in the corner here. The triangles are interceptors. They are very fast, and they're mostly for flying around and annoying other players by being hard to hit. They die very easily, and they don't do much damage. The diamonds are fighters. They have much better damage, but they're slower. And at the t top end, you have the frigates. They are squares, or, well, they're... <laughs> yeah, they are squares. And uh, a lot of these people, a lot of people flying frigates end up turning them into snipers and they just kind of sit at one side of the battlefield and shoot people from a great distance. And, uh, you know, don't worry, that happens and you just need to learn that if you're flying an interceptor and you can get right on their tail, then they will die eventually. Uh, also, you have, so you have the three different races, right? You have um, Empire? Oh, I forget, whatever this one is. <laughs> Federation and the Jericho. I haven't actually unlocked this. I could I could buy it. It cost me one. Oh, really? I should just buy this anyway. <laughs> well, what's it going to cost me? Um, so the thing about, bu thing about buying ships is you want to know ahead of time what you're getting. So a lot of people don't really notice this thing in the bottom left corner of the, sh of the ship window that says shift for full information. Hold that down and it tells you all this fascinating and important stuff about your shields, your hull. You see how this has plenty of shields and not so much hull. Uh, it gets bonuses to the, resist the hull resistance or the shield resistance. Now note the wet damage types, right? Kinetic does a lot of damage to hull but doesn't do much damage to shield. EM uh, does damage to, doesn't do much damage to hull but does lots of damage to shields. And thermal is kind of, you know, 50-50. It does roughly the same either way. Um, the, oh, I've moved out of the thing. Yeah, hold, holding shift, very important thing for spacecraft. Down the bottom, you see this thing that says energy consumption of offense modules decreased by 20%. If you look at different spacecraft, they all have different bonuses to different weapon types. The Lynx has a bonus to tackler. The Raptor has a bonus to protection. Now... One of the problems people have complained about, and yeah, I'm surprised, well, I mean, it's not entirely surprising, is that you want to look at your stats. If you mouse over the module that's on your ship, it tells you this is in group survival. Now, if you want that bonus to protection, well, where are you going to get it? Well, if you look in the store under all, 
moving over these things, there's no way clicking on them is a buy. You have to mouse over the little icon in the corner to tell you what group it's in. However, if you go out to the warehouse, and I'll just flip, flick over to the warehouse, and I click on only avail unclick only available, that's when I see that down in the shield section, fighter shield booster, okay, interceptor shield booster is restoration. All these shield boosters are restoration class, so they don't get a bonus. You know, be very careful, it has to be the exact match of the class. Where's, we're all shield boosters, darn it. Here we go, multi-phase shield adapter, survival, no, that doesn't help. Scroll down a little more, direct shield generator, support, nope. Increased shield power, there you go, protection. I have not yet unlocked this module. So I have a ship that I bought that gets a bonus to a module which I haven't unlocked and also I have no idea how to unlock it. Uh, I've got three different ships set up here. Um, I've got my... Uh, I've got an interceptor, I've got my, you know, my frigate and I've got my fighter here. So yeah, within uh, each tier there's actually uh, ranks basically of ships. You have, you know, at the one end you have uh, this swift and we go sideways, you know, you start out with the lynx. And these ones are slightly better. The main thing is you see the reward bonus goes up. One thing uh, also is if you look at the sh fitting, you have more and more slots. So if I go down and I close this, I have actually unlocked this uh, tier two fighter. This is the Fox. Now, before you even start tier two, you probably want about a million credits because you know as soon as you start it, you're gonna want to fit it out with a tier two gear. Now you see immediately it's tier two ship gets these extra slots for weapon mods and it gets a slot for you know this extended capacitor whatever that's a capacitor modifier you get more missile slots and things like that so not only are you having to buy tier 2 gear which is more expensive but you're having to buy more of it so don't underestimate how much cash you need when you're stepping up to tier 2 also be aware that once you buy a tier 2 ship and have it in your hangar you will only get tier 2 battles so those tier 1 ships sitting there are practically useless uh, as anything other than cannon fodder. So uh, yeah, don't take the step up to tier 2 until you have enough cash reserves to make sure that it is possible for you to survive and thrive. Also note that uh, I'm running out of storage space here, so if I spend money I will be able to get more storage space, but you know, <laughs> I don't know if I want to just yet. I, I really kind of I almost feel like it would be a throwaway expense, but at the same time, I would probably feel that I wanted to get the best bang for my buck. The skill tree has actually changed. It used to be a vastly more complicated thing. Now you're basically up load, uh, upgrading your rank with the factions, and you, you know, depend on which rank you have, you can pick different implants. So I've just gone all the way straight up down the Federation, and these are all, you know, very, they're all small boosts along the way. Um, you can if you want reputation with different, uh, different feder of different factions, then you can go to the contracts menu and you can change your contract to one of these subgroups, right? So these are like, I guess they're the Eve equivalent of Bloodlines, except they're not really. They're corp you know, Eve NPC corporations. They actually matter, right? So whichever one you're with, you will get r uh, ranking with that um, group, which will also let you get ranking with your various federation things so it's it's a that's the way to do that um, there's no way to change your base faction as far as I can tell and people may tell me otherwise maybe I'll find out that there's a way to do this you do of course have your whole medal section very nice I've actually blown up statistics wonderful um, Corporations, I have joined a corporation. It costs gold standards to create a corporation and it takes forever. Um, so anyway, your contracts, there's one other thing that you can get. You can basically select these things and they're very simple. Like uh, if I double click on this, it says, if I want this contract, it says that I have to destroy three enemies using plasma weapons, right? And if I sign this contract, it means that when I've destroyed three enemies with plasma weapons, I get extra points. So this is like extra free cash and you want to have contracts on the go. There's a limited time uh, after you complete them between before you can renew them. So, you know, it's, it's good to have these things. I've got that started. So now let's, let's fire up and get into a battle with my Lynx M. So yeah, coming back to the Lynx M, which is one that I set up, it gets 
if I mouse over, if I click on it, mouse over it, I get uh, energy consumption off offense modules, and the main weapon damage is increased by 15%. Uh, this is a, an upgraded Lynx, by the way. No, also note that you get a reward bonus increase as you go up ship tiers. Um, so offense modules include this target painter, which uh, means that the target painter will be cheaper and easier to run. Also, I'm getting a 15% bonus on my plasma gun. Uh, wait, is that just a tier? No, that's a Mark III. Yeah, I spent real cash on that. Not real cash. Yeah, overcharge shield booster. This is an extra. As you go up, you get more slots and you get something called passive modules. Passive modules sit out here and they do... Uh, extra things without having to burn energy and of course I've still got my chameleon module in here. Um, this interceptor has a plasma web which is for, does damage to the other dudes and the raptor has drones! Drones, drones, drones. So let's go in and fight. Fight, fight, fight and see what happens. Because it's nice to know. So there are multiple battle types. They're mostly beacon battles or there's one well, there's ones where you have to capture beacons, ones where you have to blow up beacons, ones where you have to... And there's ones where you basically have to chase down the enemy captain and kill him, and then once he's killed, the infinite reinforcements go away and you can mop up the enemy team. So this is domination, so we have to reach enough sector control points. So I'm going to start off in the swift, uh, which gives me... Oh yes, Achilles Targeting Complex. I think I've got the wrong ship. I meant to have the one with the E-War. Okay, well, that's great. That's not what I wanted. If I hold Shift, it says Saboteur Modules. And this is a Saboteur Module. And this is a Restoration Module. Great. But I'm picking this because it's fast and I can get straight in on a beacon and claim it because claiming beacons is a fast way to get points. And I think I should have gone for Beacon C early on, but hey, I'm probably going to die. That's the way things go. I'm probably going to have like a million people, so I'm just going to hide behind this. Oh, shoot. Stay behind, stay behind, stay behind, stay behind. Okay. I died! Yeah. Did I help capture a beacon? No, I didn't. I think these red guys are going to mop the floor with us. Okay. Well, there's they're all hanging around that, so let's go... Let's go um, sniper style. Uh, no, sniper style. I know your ships beforehand. Well done. This, a great start. This lets you uh, switch up your, your uh, combat style mid-battle, which is a very good thing to have. Okay, let's, let's target something... Can we hit, get him? I'm not in range. I, I'm, I might be in range. Come on. No. Ah, he's fading away. Who, who is there? Yeah, he's there. Come on. Yes. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, he's out of range. Okay. And shoot off my flares. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. I'm just... Okay, let's get ready for this guy. Combat drones. Oh, where is he gone? Where's my combat drones? Oh, I don't know where the dude is. Okay, so we got rid of him. And there's another dude right here. Ah, excellent! But, uh, of course, we are losing the battle because we are not really taking this beacon. we got to take this beacon in the middle if we want to show some respectability here. I'm going to shoot you up there. Oh! <laughs> well, that did not work well, and he shot me from a distance as well. Yes, the frigates do serious damage, but a lot of people just like to fly them like snipers. Okay, let's let's bring up the Lynx M. This is the this is the fighter one. This gets extra bonuses to damage, and it gets a cloaking device. So maybe I can sneak over to Beacon B and capture it while nobody is looking. Because capture, you get a lot of points for capturing. I'm doing absolutely terrible because, well, honestly, I'm not doing terrible. The whole team is doing terrible. 
and I can't blame them. Uh, the game is not exactly the most amazing thing. Actually, it's okay. Uh, I I don't know. Okay, let's let's go full speed around this, and then. So I've got my friend heading out that way. Maybe we can together we can take these dudes on. So this is using a plasma weapon, which is ooh better. Well, I think it's better. I think it's better for the dogfighting and all that. I'm zipping across here at full speed. And hopefully no one's going to see me sneaking down the back door. They're all going to be busy with that one. And, of course, as soon as I start capturing this, I'm going to... I'm going to... There, I'm going to cloak myself. But they can still hit me. So that's... I let my things regenerate just a little. Okay, now as soon as I'm behind this... I'm going to have to start killing these things. Ah! Remember to use the strafe keys. Very useful. Oh shoot, I fired off a missile. Warning. Shields, down. Shields back up again. Ah! Zip down here. That was absolutely terrible. Okay, guns cool down a little. Okay, there we go. There's a lot of defender drones here. There we go. Come on! Cool down, damn it! Thank you. Okay, where's this thing? Now capture this darn thing. Yeah, capture it, capture it, capture it, capture it, capture it. Okay. Ah! Oh, totally failed! Totally failed! That dude came in too fast. I'm just... Sh I'm not showing how to do this. Well, let's get back to the links, so though. At least I had some success in that. Or did I? I don't know. If I, I think I get a tiny number of points for shooting these things. I think, every I think it might affect in-battle points, the license. Maybe not. I don't know. Wait, incoming missile! I just entered the battle! Are you kidding me? What is up with that? Okay, come on, we gotta capture this beacon, gentlemen. Come on, ladies, there you go. There, using my target painter on him. Ah, and he sneaks away. Darn it. Not fair! Scumbag has a cloaking device. What kind of scumbag flies around with a cloaking device? Oh wait, that would be me. Sector lost! No, oh, the tragedy. The tragedy! Oh, I got a, I got a medal for destroying four bones. No, the other type of battle there is. Okay, so you have arcade, is infinite respawns basically. Regular, you basically get one go in each ship, but. Uh, and what happens is once you die you can pick the next ship in your group. Problem with that is that a lot of people aren't doing it is because see this thing on the on the ship descriptions you have the synergy level. That's kind of like experience with that ship. If you play in regular mode and you lose your ship, you lose your synergy. So you lose bonuses from that. So people don't fight regular. Um, you can pick random. Scenarios random. Scenarios are like NPC things, so let's bring up the scenarios and I shall fix this because I didn't want to I'm not sure I wanted this one. I thought I wanted the Swift M There they go Swift M. Hopefully it's still built up Swift M. Yeah, it has the it has the ion beam that shuts things down although And it has this collision compensator. Collision compensator is hellaciously fun Especially fighting frigates because it reduces your collision damage, you can kind of fly into enemy ships and do a lot of damage to them. Plus it makes you turn really fast. So it's actually been quite responsible for a lot of uh, lot of damage that I've done. This one incidentally gets a bonus to ECM and of course that covers the Ion Beam. Anyway, let's get out there and fight and kill things. I should probably switch this Swift over to something like a Plasma Beam. Okay, so yes, we're in a scenario. It is incursion time. It's basically three phases in a scenario. One is you're destroying incoming ships. Next one, you're going to their base and destroying their towers. And then finally, you're taking on their big bad dude. And hopefully, 
uh, you're killing him, and if you kill, if you win a scenario, then you're guaranteed at least one loot drop, which is a nice thing. Why? Now, where are these bad guys? Now, I like the scenario levels, because there's lots of nooks and crannies and stuff to, to zip around inside. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a lot of dudes around here. It's good to do scenarios with people that actually understand what they're doing. Without, if you don't understand what they're doing, you're going to lose out. Like me, you know, I, I keep on targeting the wrong thing. And when you're not targeting, you don't get the little lead bead, so to speak. The witch beacon! Wait, who is attacking which beacon? So I'm saving my E-War for when... Oh, crikey! Taking some damage here. Invader! Invaders must die! This is where you play the Prodigy. In these guys, obviously, are just cannon fodder, right? They're very easy to kill, and but every now and then you'll get an elite turn up. And you will be putting, you're gonna put everyone on him. Okay, who, who is the be who's guarding the beacons? Okay, we have more hostiles inbound, interceptors. Invader interceptors. Okay. Excellent. Come on, there we go. And there's some invaders attacking this. But I shall show them who's boss. So, invader just cannon fodder. Enemies destroyed. Lots. Of course, these, I don't think scenarios with their NPCs contribute to my uh, contracts, by the way. Oh, dear, dear, dear. There we go. Enemy ship destroyed. Ah, uh, uh, by the way, um, people, people, some people want to play with joystick. Don't play with mouse. It gives you a lot of control over aiming at things. Being able to aim outside your volume is very important. It is terribly optimized for joysticks. Even my terrible joystick. I mean, okay, my joystick is hardly great, so it's a bad example. More enemy ships in the area. Okay, here we go. Over here again. They're coming this way. Plasma gun. The plasma guns are very annoying when they overheat, but this one seems to do plenty of damage. Invader! Now, between each battle, you can, uh, you, I think you do get a chance to reload weapons. He's going for a beacon. Thank you. Just keeping an eye out for the elites. If you get elites, then trouble happens. Oh, here's a captain, right? So, so I'm going to hit him with my E-War. Oh, he's damaging me! Okay, I'm getting down here because this captain does a lot of damage. Okay, hopefully he's forgotten about me now. No, he's there! There we go. Excellent. Assisted with target painter and other sundry items. Oh, there's another command captain elite. Okay. Let's hit him hard. And then hit him with the E-War so that his shields get weaker. Nice thing. Oh, dear. Okay, now I'm going to wait for my things to cool down. charge my shield while I have Excellent! Excellent! So we have gained sector control! 
So now we have to go and blow up their control stations, right? Destroy the navigation stations. And again, I'm going to stick with my Lynx M. You know, for various reasons. It has a shield. It has the target painter, which is great for killing those elites. And you're going to have to do a lot of those later. And finally, if things get really hot, I do have the cloaking device to get out of, out of you know, dodge and help myself survive just a little longer. Okay, in we go! Now, you see, these guys have the gun emplacements and stuff to help them, so I'm gonna try... Oh, crap. Okay, let's get over this. Nav station! That's one of the nav stations. Okay. Where that ah, shit? Where did it go? Where, oh, did I blow it up? Obviously, I blew it up. Okay, now let's find some bad dudes. There's a nav station. And since getting close, activate my E war to reduce the resists, make it all die very quickly. There we go. And then final nav station, we're just gonna zip through the middle here. Actually, I could just cloak all my way here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, just zip, 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 zip. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, we got the nav station. Excellent. So I get it. I'm getting not. I'm getting respectable points here. Now we have to kill the flagship, and this is basically like a boss. And pr pretty much, again, my E war is going to be key here. My E war is going to be key war, so to speak. Um, yeah, we're going to make him weak. We're going to take him down, keep him on the floor, and then shoot him. Shoot him again, and keep shooting him until he dies. Hopefully no elites will come along. Okay, so there's the dude. We have nothing to do but to kill him. And he's already hitting us. Warning, danger. What a wonderful, useful bit of information. I don't know what is... Yeah, okay. I don't know what was shooting me there. There, I'm just keeping my... Oh, I guess that's the turrets that are past. Maybe not. Now let my guns cool down again. Somebody's shooting at me. He's turning around now. Keeping my E-War on him. Okay, I'm just cloaking away for a second. Enemy reinforcements. Ah, shoot, that didn't last long. So much for getting out of dodge. Come on, punish or die. Come on, key war But, uh, do you... Slivers of health left. Yes! We are victorious. Yes. So, you know, now we get a guaranteed loot drop in the middle. We hold this, and that will be one more thing. Overcharged frigate's shield booster. I have no idea if that's useful to me. The overcharged stuff tends to be better, I think, than the tier two, but I could be wrong. Um... There's, you know, all this other stuff basically just turns into cash. So anyway, I think that's more than enough Star Conflict for now. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.